wealth within. They gave me that feeling of trust. What you learned in the course was just mind-blowing. Amazing. It was phenomenal. It opens your mind up and makes you realise you don't know what you don't know. I've got the tools now. 100% worth it. Definitely get educated. Hello and welcome to Wealth Within's weekly hot stock tips. I'm Phil Tortevsky, Senior Analyst at Wealth Within, and we are Australia's most trusted stock market educators. And every Tuesday night, you can see me on the Australian Stock Market Show live on YouTube, alongside two amazing professional traders, Janine Cox and Dale Gillum. Now in the show, we answer important questions around the stock market, cover lots of great stocks, and help you become a better trader. Today, we'll unveil what's hot and what's not for you, our viewers. But before we dive in to this week's stocks, I am joined today by Chief Analyst Dale Gillum. How are you, mate? I'm fantastic. I'm excited at the moment. The market is looking super hot. And next week, you and I are going to be at the MicroCat Conference. Yes, so we are. Next Tuesday and Wednesday here in Melbourne, the MicroCat Conference is on at the Sofa Ho Sofitel Hotel. And um, we might be able to just get you a discount to attend, but Phil and I will be there. And looking forward to it, there's some really, really great stocks there. So I'm looking forward to reporting on that too. Yes, and hopefully uh, a few nice beers as well. But um, let's get straight oh, into it. And the scones are good. And the scones, there you go. <laughs> well, let's get straight into it on your screen right now is the watch list of the top 200 ASX stocks. Now, you'll see, obviously, we're going to run through the best at the moment this week, Dale, um, with Regis Resources. Oh, quite interesting. This was 22.69%. Oh, that's that? a pretty not, good effort, isn't not it? Not bad, Phil. That was the hot stock tip on Tuesday. So it have, was, wasn't it? Must have so gone pays, it. pays to watch the Tuesday night show for Phil's hot stock tip. There you go. All right. But, um, you know, Bank of Queensland, obviously, what's quite interesting, obviously, mm. the banking sector was a very strong performer this week. It, it well, topped the, the finance ranks. sector was, was it finance, very, very yes. strong. Yeah, I was, yeah. Yeah. Banking sector is no, there's no such thing as a banking sector. No, there sector. isn't, is there? No, I'm teaching you again. Again, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> but he, uh, He's not going to help you. No, he can't. I am. Yes, you are. <laughs> but um, look, we, we have a nice uh, a broad uh, spectrum in terms of obviously mm. the financials uh, are in there, but what we're seeing, Genesis Minerals coming mm. through here, we're seeing the resource stocks coming, even though the mining sector was slightly in the red this week. But um very uh, promising seeing the top 20 there being materials and financials. Oh, look, I think it's great we're seeing that. I mean, obviously, energy still needs to go. You know, it's been held back, but healthcare is doing mm. okay at the moment, you know, and obviously financials. But I do think our market's going to slow down in the next week or two. And just being careful, and this is probably my best piece of advice for everybody, is we're searching for a high at the moment. And, and when you're searching for a high, that's when the market becomes more dangerous. But it's because it's when a lot of people go into FOMO state because they've seen where well, market's up for five weeks at the moment. Well, or we're, six, we're six now. Week six, we've gone up. And when you, markets generally don't go up six weeks straight, they search, it's searching for a peak right now and it's going to come down for maybe one to four weeks through into sort of mid November. So we're either going to have another high this week. Um, so the, if the market goes up this week, that just increases the probability that, the next, that, it, that it will go down. If it goes up for two weeks, it's it's really high risk then for the market to go down. So what you don't want to do is buy in just when the market's about to go down and the stocks mm. that you own start to fall away. I'm not saying the market's going to crash or anything. I'm just saying now's the time to be really careful with your buying. Yes, probably a better opportunity mm. uh, buying coming just around the corner. So what's hot in the market this week? Well, on your screen right now is my hot stock tip for the week, which is Genesis Mineral Stock Ticker Code GMD. So as always, on the screen is the monthly and weekly charts. Doesn't that look good, mate? Doesn't it? And and what's really exciting about this one, obviously um, some volumes come in recently, which is mm. quite nice, but I want to focus on the monthly chart here. And, you know, if we apply a horizontal line through this level here, the previous high that, um, you know, in the run-up since the April 2015 low mm. in this bull run, if you will, was September 2021. And what was quite interesting when we got there, mm. oftentimes you'll find stocks when they do break to new highs, they find their feet, they find a, a bit of a pullback, a bit of a reversal. But what was interesting about this one, I mean, it's been so uniform since February 2023. And look what happened when it came to these levels. Initially, it thought, okay, maybe, maybe not. Had a strong run up in August, closing on the high. Then we had a bit of a pullback and look how strong the reversal is in October. Yeah. That to me signifies a nice pullback in rhythm to everything we've been seeing through the past you know, uh, two years, uh, since March 23 anyway. And now that we're breaking out into blue skies with a type of stock like this that once it gets going, it can really shoot off. And to me right now, we're not in that euphoric state. 
Like, look, what a very clear example of that euphoric state is moves like this. Oh, yeah. One month moves that really shoot the lights out, so volatile compared to everything else, generally signal the end of the run. We are not seeing any of that right now, which is very promising because that might spell the next buying opportunity. And if you can get in before euphoria, mm. that's going to mean a fantastic trade for the, to, uh, these kinds of stocks. Oh, look, I agree with you. And I think one of the challenges I see with stocks like this is people, when they see a breakthrough into a into basically blue sky there, there's a lot of investors who don't like that. No. They get a little bit nervous and traders get a bit nervous because they're going, well, where is it? Where's it going to? And they don't really understand how to predict price. And this is the thing that's critical because obviously the market runs in price pattern and time. And that's what we always talk about when we're teaching and mentoring mm -hmm. people. You need to understand how far is it going to run? What the momentum is on the run? Is it bullish or bearish run? How is it going to unfold? Because that right-hand side of the chart, that white space, is where you make the money. You don't make the money last week because you can't get yesterday's returns. Mm -hmm. But we find that when we're getting in and we're breaking through highs, that what we're seeing through, people go, oh, I don't know what's happening right now. And whereas when we're mentoring traders, we're teaching them how to learn and, and map that out and draw the future for themselves with high accuracy. So then they can make the right decisions for themselves. So, but I love the stock at the moment. It mm. looks really good. Well, it gives you comfort as a trader. Mm. I mean, if we just go back to the chart, it gives you comfort knowing that, hey, as this stock's running up, because the, the key mm. to trading or investing it, uh, if you will, is let your profits run and cut your losses sure. short. And if you're not able to let your mm. profits run, I mean, exactly to what you were speaking to, so many um, people would look at these moves and once it breaks into blue sky, oh, I've got to sell. Yeah. Because, you know, I don't know what's going to happen next or I get nervous. But not how many? Let me ask you. I don't want to, don't want to cut you off. Yeah. But how many people do you talk to out there that tell you they're traders, and yet they do exactly the opposite of what you just said? They cut their profits short and let their losses run. Well, yeah, that's you that's, hear it a lot, you, right? You, just, you, to me, it's the vast majority. Yeah. I see people do it yeah. because they don't know where that white space is. They really don't know how to understand that mm. white space and how to let a stock run because they're always nervous about losing their profit. Whereas I don't think I've. I'm, I've never been nervous about losing profit yeah. because I understand how that white space is going to unfold with a high degree of accuracy and so do you. Yeah. And to me, if you understand that, then you're going to make shed loads more profit. And this is what I find with these traders is they're losing opportunity, they're losing time and they're losing sleep because they're yeah. worried about stuff. Yeah. And to me, you don't need to do that. You can make a lot of money. I, I like the stock. I don't want to ramble on, but yes. it's so important to understand that white space. It definitely is. But let's just go quickly to the weekly chart and mm -hmm. sum this one up. Um, and what's quite interesting, obviously, as we're looking through this weekly chart, look at how the stock gives that. you that beautiful trend. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that, breakout, find a new uh, base. Breakout, find, find a, a new, new base. base. It does it all the way through. We're in the expansion part right now, breakout. So this one is definitely one to watch, but that is it for my hot stock tip this week. Now we're moving onto a stock that should make you proceed with caution. Intertech Pivot stock ticker code IPL. Now on your screen are the monthly and weekly charts. And this one here, Dale. A lot more volatile, isn't it? It is a lot more volatile. And what's quite interesting about Intertech Pivot, now I, this one is a caution and it's a bullish caution, um, if you will, um, to put some perspective on that. But Most of your stocks are bullish cautions. They have been lately. Actually, I mean, pretty much mine. Uh, before you were all bullish cautions yeah, too. Yeah. Right? Um, to me, it's like, Always have. I'm always looking for stocks to buy, so yes. therefore it's a bullish caution. If I don't own it, I'm not looking. You know, and yeah. it's going down. I don't. It's just next. That's right. And I mean, sometimes these caution stocks mm. are more important than the the hot stock because yeah. you know it's getting there, arriving early. You know, if you can pr um, identify a stock that is just about to get going or in mm. the process of turning into a green light, then that's when often the best trades happen or the but best that's opportunities. The, that's the important thing. It's about leading the market, not following it. Yeah. And all too often we see traders follow. They see moves happen and then they try and jump mm. in. Whereas what we're teaching our traders to do is find the, find the opportunities before they happen, do your work, get your trading plan ready, and then put your trigger in. And then when it does something, confirm, confirms what you thought, you make money. Yeah. And if it doesn't do it, you stay out of it. Uh, and that's why our guys are getting in a lot better entries and a lot better exits. So they're sucking up a lot more of the profits, but safe profits. Yes. And, and this is the, another thing is we get too many people, they don't get their buy right and they don't get their sell right and it sucks up their profits. Mm -hmm. And that's why a lot of people are scared for obviously not letting their profits run, but then they also let losses run too much when they shouldn't be because they go, oh, I can't lose 
you know, I've yeah. lost too much money, you know, blah, blah, blah. It'll come back to where it was before and then it doesn't and then it turns in, a good investment turns into a, a good trade. Long-term investment. Turns into a long-term investment <laughs> yeah. instead of a good trade. Well, I'm glad you said that because, you know, what you're saying really speaks mm. to knowing confirmation. Yes. And if we just go back to the chart and have a look on this one, really what we're looking at right now is the early stages of trying to identify that confirmation. Obviously, this stock has been range bound, you know, very for cyclical, a very huh? long time, very cyclical, which does spell opportunity for those types of strategies that mm. do play the ranges. And right now, considering we're at the bottom of this particular range, it's about identifying or confirming, are we, you know, is this bottom confirmed? Is it in? And you know, we're really starting to see those signs. Obviously, we had a bounce in 2023, which followed a higher base, mm. which followed a third higher base. And now it looks like we're getting a fourth higher base in October. And not only that, we're starting to move into trend. You see the, the volatility turning from being a sideways choppy market into a nice trending market with higher highs and higher lows. So that is very exciting for this one. I would argue if we can get through September, the, the September 24 high, which would also kind of coincide with this high in September 23, which is, what are we talking, Three, yeah. $3.20 versus $3.20. So exactly $3.20, I would think we break $3.20, we're gonna get a nice run up to the, at the very minimum around these $4 levels. I'm with you, I like it. It's gathering momentum, it's not in top gear yet, but it's getting there. So one to watch definitely. Now lastly, what's not hot in the stock market this week? Well, BAPCOR Limited stock ticker code BAP. So let's get into the charts on the screen is the monthly and weekly. Now this one, wow. it's all about uh, not chasing the low or chasing a tail as it's falling. And right now, I mean, you know, this one's obviously clearly in downtrend, had this very volatile gap through here where the stock fell out a bit, but it wasn't the first sign. I mean, you had a very clear sign yeah. through here that things weren't looking too rosy. Continued on with it. We've had this run up over a couple of weeks, but look at now, October starting to reverse. It couldn't It couldn't close the gap properly. Yeah, and well, so just, what does that tell well, you? Well, that tells me it's weak. Mm. It just tells me there's further downside to happen because if it can't come back and close that, it whatever caused it to gap right down into this low here, like, I mean, it really it went from this price here, it closed at $5.78, yep. 578 and then it opened up at $4.11. That's a huge mm -hmm. move down. Um, and had one week up to try and close it, couldn't do it, and it's pretty much gone sideways since then. Um, so I would expect next this coming week to be down, breaking through that low and, and really getting to that point there, probably breaking through that $3.76 low at the moment. I totally agree with the caution on that sort of stuff. But then what we're going to see here, and this is what a lot of what we see a lot of, is you see something like this happening after a big drop and you get some of the traders jumping in thinking, wow, it's cheap, it's moved up strongly mm. and then they jump into it but at the end of the week thinking it's going to com completely close the gap and move right back up to these areas before it, uh, before it dropped away and then they're getting caught in this. So I guarantee there's quite a few traders sitting on this at the moment, not losing much money, not making any money um, and not really um, concentrating enough because I think if it starts to fall away, it'll probably start to fall away quickly again. And if it yes. does do that, they're going to get caught with a bigger loss than was probably what they thought mm. of. And, and, you know, just some simple mm. techniques. And, and I say simple, but they aren't that simple. It's, no, it's, this is a monthly chart. We're yes. not getting into the daily charts or anything No, else. we're not. And, and knowing, you know, knowing what tools, because mm. really at the end of the day as a technician, you know, when you know what tools to use yes. at the right time, that's really what's going to separate your trading from, you know, average to really mm. good. And just applying a nice trend line through here on momentum line, you can see that, all throughout this period, you could have stayed away from all this choppy, ugly type price action just yeah. by really identifying and supporting the long-term trend or the gradient yeah. of the move. And right now, we're still, even if we apply a you know more uh, or a tighter type um, level, we're still not breaking through to the flip side, meaning that we're not in a bullish phase. Mm -hmm. So right now, even if you are looking to trade this stock long, you really need that confirmation. We speak so much about confirmation on this show and that confirmation uh, comes from knowing when to use the right tools to mm -hmm. identify that the stock is not in a bear market, that it is in a bull market. And uh, you know, you would, I would even argue um, that mm -hmm. that's when those the real opportunity comes. It's not about being oh, yeah. first, it's about getting the safe trade. That's what's gonna keep you consistent. Uh, it is, and I was chatting to a, uh, somebody on the street who was, was a trader last week and, uh, and he was talking about, you know, how he's learning, and I said, but what you, I said, do you want a good education or just any education? And he goes, what do you mean? I said, well, there's a vast difference between information and education. Mm. You're getting a lot of information, you're not getting a lot of education, but then there's a vast difference between knowledge and understanding. 
And that's what you were talking about. Knowledge is understanding that there's a trend there. Yeah, yeah. Mm, sorry, knowledge is there's a trend there. But understanding the trend and how it unfolds and all the components of a trend and why it's got momentum or volatility on the strength of it, how far is the trend going to run in both bullish and bearishness, how is it going to unfold in patterns for that whole trend and how long is it going to unfold in that pattern, that's all stuff he couldn't even answer to me. And I said, there's a vast difference yeah. between all of that and, and, right, and why you're inconsistent in trading is because you're just getting any education, not the right one. And the right one just contracts all your time, all your heartache. It gives you a lot more uh, chances of being successful, but you also don't lose opportunity costs mm. because people will sit there and buy some stocks at the wrong time, like I was just talking about. Yeah. They would have bought this stock and they're sitting on it. And, we, and we're saying no, because there's no confirmation of anything. Um, and to me, that's how critical it can be. Now, it's not hard, but it's just you've got to get that right education. Well, it has to be. I mean, you know, mm. go and ask a pilot with no training to fly your plane <laughs> or go and ask a surgeon with, with no real training. You know, I'm talking mm. about professional training, perform surgery. It really is, uh, when we're talking about stocks and finance, there mm. is um, stuff at risk. I mean, there's, you know, your money's at risk. Mm. So it is so, so important, just as Dale said, not just in terms of um, opportunity cost or time. It's about, you know, really... Um, getting yourself that right education so that you are successful in the markets. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this edition of Wealth Within's Weekly Hot Stock Tips. Now remember to tune into the live Australian stock market show on YouTube from 7 p.m. Eastern time every Tuesday night. To find us, just type Wealth Within Live in the YouTube search. And remember to have your phone ready to call in live to speak to us so we can answer your questions. The number is 03 or you can email into the show right now by sending your questions to info at wealthwithin.com.au. Now, if you want a copy of Dale's first book, you can still get it for free. You just have to pay the shipping. You can order it from our homepage, wealthwithin.com.au. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode and thank you, Dale, very much for your uh, excellent comments today. Look, my pleasure, Phil, and, and well done for, for the stocks you've got today. Now, I do look forward to chatting with everybody um, tomorrow night on the Australian Stock Market Show, but I'd love to see you next week at the Microcap Conference too, the 29th and 30th of October at the Soffit Hotel. And I believe we've got a discount code if you want to uh, come along and attend for yourself. But Phil and I will be there anyway. I'll be at, you'll be at the um, beer thing and I'll beer be and at, scones. And I'll be at the scones. There you go. Easy to find us. Anyway, thank you very much again, Dale. And thank you all for watching for now. Goodbye, good luck and good trading.